hematites that are found in the very eastern part of the United States. Uh, they're more prevalent in the eastern part of Canada. And they're known as Avalonian trilobites. It's a province of Cambrian fossils that um, was uh, initially recognized in eastern Canada in the Canadian Maritimes, essentially uh, New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And um, uh, the um, New, uh, peninsula that extends out uh, into the Atlantic is called the Avalonian Peninsula. It's part of eastern Newfoundland. And uh, these are known as Avalonian fossils or Avalonian trilobites because as they're Cambrian rocks, uh, trilobites are one of the most prevalent fossils in them. In fact, they're really abundant. And one of the trilobites is one called the Paradoxids, are the coming from the genus Paradoxides or Paradox, per, per, um, Paradoxides. Um, it's kind of a paradox trilobite. Oh, now, this is, who did the president? Who killed Ken? It's, it's a mystery. It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. A uh, Newfoundland a Paradoxides in limestone. Real slow, okay. Yeah, I think I did that too fast. Gotta watch it on film against each other. The big, big guy. It's a group of them. Actually, there's part of it there and part of it's underneath. Um, there's a, fits right in here. And these are really, really nice trilobites. And really, for the size of them and that, they're really reasonable. They're, they're bulky. That's one half of it. Sit back in there. The, the genus is Cambropalus, and the species is Telesto. Cambropalus Telesto is the is the uh, is the trilobite. Here's the here's the back part, or the part part and counterpart. That's this is the counterpart of that uh, specimen. Flip it around here. There you go, and you can see it's big, and uh, they're. Um, they're, they're, uh, some of the biggest trilobites really are found in the Cambrian. And Cambrian's sometimes called the age of trilobites. And uh, they're, they're very diverse and very, uh, very diversified, a lot of different genera and species. And they can be locally very, very abundant. They're, these occur like paradoxities in layers that uh, are quite abundant, where they're just kind of packed in there. And, um, it's in a kind of a brown siltstone, but um, the genus is uh, Cambropalus. In fact, the genus is not in the earlier literature on uh, trilobites. Okay, uh, Cambropalus. Uh, for good measure, here's a few more um, uh, specimens. One isn't just enough. These. Uh, Again, I got, kind of got carried away with these when I had the opportunity to get them, but, but here's a nice one here. And uh, there you go. And you, uh, this one is pretty well, pretty well real. There's uh, one of them here, that, uh, the next one, that's, um, that's a fair amount of preparation work that's uh, well done, but it's, uh, uh, there's uh, some of uh, them, uh, kind of a little bit of imagination used on it by the preparator. But this one is not. This one is a, a nice specimen. Here's another one here. They're kind of heavy. Um, this is a, That one has got um, fractures in it. Uh, natural fractures that's uh, pretty common in uh, fossils. You can see those lines running through there? Uh, right through there. Um, Running like through through there, that uh, that's a fracture in the rock, probably caused by tectonic forces. And um, uh, when you prepare it, it'll show up on the fossils. You can see here. But this one is again all uh, pretty well the real McCoy. There's there's really no uh, preparation work, ex extensive preparation work done, which is the case on some Moroccan fossils. Some of them are 
kind of what I'd say is over-prepared. I mean, that's kind of a matter of taste, but some people like them very heavily prepared. I really don't. I like it to be kind of like this. You know, there's flaws in there like that. What is that fracture across there? Uh, that's, uh, that's natural. It's not a, a it's nothing that uh, uh, after half a billion years, you kind of expect that. Here's one that's, uh, I'd say it's kind of over-prepared. Uh, when you look at it carefully, you can see that some of the uh, free cheeks around here have been uh, added to. or some Ones that have this pattern around the edge are, seem to be a little more over-prepared. That's, that's, again, a individual preference of the preparator. These are prepared in Morocco, and the Moroccans are pretty darn good at, do, at working these out and preparing them. And, uh, uh, they get a lot of practice, I guess, with it. But the preparation work is good. And um, I'd say in some cases, it's like this specimen, it's somewhat overprepared. But anyway, this is a the genus Cambropalus again. Cambro, Cambropalus uh, Tedesco uh, is the species. And uh, they're uh, from the um, right at the lower middle Cambrian boundary in uh, Morocco, part of the Avalonian province. If you really get into Moroccan trilobites, or, or trilobites in general, uh, one of the books that just recently came on the market is this one here. And um, it uh, uh, has a lot of the trilobites that show up at Tucson, and you can see sometime in rock shops, and which you might collect yourself in some cases. But uh, they're, um, it's a good book, and it's uh, available at uh, probably most bookstores. Trilobites of the World. It's printed in, in uh, Great Britain. And um, it is a really good book. It has a lot of a lot of the uh, Moroccan trilobites, a lot of material that's uh, including these big giant trilobites, like I was showing you. The big uh, Moroccan ones are in here, but it's a it's a good book. You might want to check it out. And while we're on the subject of uh, books on Moroccan fossils, here's one that just came out also, um, fossils uh, of Mor from Morocco. And it likewise has uh, quite a few trilobites, quite a bit about the Moroccan trilobites, as you can see here. So here's a lot of these uh, Cambrian trilobites that I was showing you in the uh, kind of orangish sandstone, siltstone, I guess it is, middle Cambrian. This is uh, some of these giant trilobites like Cambriopalus and, uh, and uh, Paradoxides over here. But uh, it's a great, really good book and uh, might be a little harder to find than the other one uh, I showed you from... Uh, trilobites of the world, but this one is uh, specifically on Moroccan fossils, and uh, it uh, probably can be bought at some bookstores, or ordered from some bookstores, but uh, Fossils from Morocco, it's a good book. I might want to yeah, check that Yeah, I have a series of books on related material like this, including quite a bit on the Midwest, including Missouri, and uh, if you're interested in them, click on the uh, box that you see, and uh, uh, it'll give you more information. Perfect. And if you like this, Please subscribe and hit the button below.